What's up, friends? Mr. Crowley here. Welcome to another Tech Lab Online. Today, the question we're gonna answer is how can you build the very best paper airplane? Super excited? Check it out. First, before we start building our paper airplane, we have to understand what are the parts of an airplane. So I built this little Lego model. Maybe you have one of your own. And we're gonna look at some of these parts real quick to make sure that we're all on the same page. First, we have the wings. The wings are the part that stretch out here and that give the airplane the lift to pick it up off the ground. After the wings, if you look at the very back, we have the tail of our plane. This is called the tail wings or the rudder. And then up here, or I'm sorry, at the side, we have our elevators, kind of tipping it up or down. If we look up here, we have our cockpit. And then this long part here is the body of our plane. That is called the fuselage. I know, that's a fancy word. It's a good one though, fuselage. All right, so now that we have some ideas for what makes a plane operate. Oh, forgot our landing gear. It's really important. Any landing that you can walk away from, is a good landing, friends. Let's keep that in mind. Before we jump into our plane, let's talk about what makes something the best. So best is not a very scientific term unless we apply it to some empirical data. So in this case, we could say the best looking plane and have a beauty contest, although that's trickier to prove. So rather, let's say the best plane for today is the one that travels the farthest. So let's see what we can do to build a plane that will travel the farthest. Now, after you conquer this challenge, maybe you'll wanna redefine the best and have it be the plane that can carry the most weight or the plane that is the fastest. I'll leave that to you. Here we go, building our plane. Step one, we gotta find the center of our paper and to do that, I'm gonna grab this top corner up here, bring it over to the other side, and I'll line those corners up perfectly. Mm -hmm. I wanna attend to the precision because the more precise my plane is, the better it will turn out. Once I get my corners lined up, I can come over to the middle part and I can crease this guy. Oh, careful, don't wiggle. Nice, crease this guy. Perfect, excellent, love it. So now I've taken my paper, and when I was a kid, we called this folding it hot dog. Nice and long. I had a person ask me today if a hot dog was a sandwich or not a sandwich. What do you think? Discuss. Open up our paper. Now it kind of looks like a book. Um, the next step, oh, before I get too far ahead of myself, this line that we have here is the middle. It's a line of symmetry that's gonna help our plane stay balanced. If my line of symmetry becomes too unbalanced to one side, our plane, when it's flying, might fall to one side. So let's try and build really carefully, but if you see that as your plane is flying, we might have to come back to the drawing board and try again. Here we go. Line of symmetry down the middle. I'm gonna grab this first corner, oop, up here top right. I'm gonna fold it down. I'm gonna put this corner along that center line and make sure that this edge right here lines up right through that part there. So I'm gonna line that up again. Precision, friends, precision. All right, once I get that lined up, I can crease this outside seam. And now I have made a triangle. It's beautiful. This is a right triangle because it's got a 90 degree angle right here at the corner. So our first triangle is a right triangle. And because it needs to be symmetrical on the other side, I gotta make another right triangle. Here we go. Grab that left corner, fold that guy over. Again, precision. Crease, crease, crease. Awesome, two beautiful right triangles. Now it's time to sweep our wings back even further. If we look at this plane right here, it's got a really long sweeping wing formation, like a fighter jet. So to sweep our wings back even more, we're gonna grab this corner here, we're gonna fold this guy in, and I'm gonna put this edge right here all along that middle line of symmetry that made in our first step. So 
So crease, crease, crease. Folding that guy in. Awesome. Now, you'll notice this triangle that we made, one, two, three sides, is different from this one. Uh, this is a right triangle, if you'll remember. This triangle's got a really big angle right here, way bigger than 90 degrees. That's called an obtuse triangle. I know, obtuse, that's a fun word. Try saying it sometimes. These angles over here are actually called acute angles because they're less than 90. But the triangle itself is an obtuse triangle. So again, symmetry and balance means that we have to have the same on the other side. So let's grab this corner, fold it in. Precision, precision, precision. And now I'm gonna crease this outside edge. Perfect, perfect, awesome. So now my plane is symmetrical on both sides. This step's a little tricky. I'm gonna turn my plane sideways so it's horizontal for me. I'm gonna fold this part up. And now there is an important decision to be made. And my hope, friends, is that you're gonna make lots of paper airplanes as long as the adults in your life are okay with that. If they say stop, you should really stop. With more than one plane, we can test more than one wing design. So now we have this part here will become our body of our plane or our fuselage, if you remember from earlier. And we can fold this part down to make our wing, but there's some interesting things happening here. If I fold this part down and I line up this back part with this part here, I can make sure it's an exactly perpendicular. That means that my line will be straight across but I also could have my wing slope up like this, or if I wanna be really crazy, slope down like that. I would say let's experiment and see what works best for you. But right now, I'm gonna keep it mostly perpendicular. Folding that guy down. Awesome. Oh, I think I might've actually given it a slight incline. Do you see how it's less here and more there? Very fascinating. Let's see how that performs. Flip our plane over. Crease it here. Awesome, so now our plane is almost ready for flight. You gotta fluff the wings a little bit, get them nice and ready to go. And then once you have your plane set, you wanna hold it from the fuselage and give it a nice toss and see how's it go. Awesome friends, once you build your first plane, I hope you build others. We can do things like changing the front of our plane or we can even fold up and try and create a fin in the back like a rudder to help our plane go straight if you wanna try that out for size. We'll look at a few other plane designs, but first I want you to experiment and tell me what can you find out. Here's our challenge. So this is a very basic airplane design. What could you do to make this better? How might we improve upon this design? If I wanted to make our plane go even farther, what can we change? Should I have bigger wings, smaller wings, a heavier fuselage, a lighter fuselage? What would you change in your design to make your plane go the farthest it possibly can? Once you master that challenge, another idea might be how much weight can your plane carry? Or how fast can it go? I would love to see the photos and videos of your planes in action. If you wanna share them on Instagram or Facebook, that would be fantastic, or you can upload them to Seesaw and I'll check them out there. If you enjoyed this video and you found it fun and helpful, please hit that subscribe button. If you wanna be the first to try the next challenge, hit that bell and see what's going on. And until then, friends, I hope you fly the friendly skies.